In soccer's record book, this Hampden Park International will go down as Scotland nil, England won. And that won't tell even half the story. For to Billy Wright and George Young and the teams they lead, it's more than an international. It's a cup tie, with Rio and the World Cup a glittering prize. Dark-shirted Scotland, attacking the goal to your left, have to avoid defeat if they're to make the trip. Prompted by Willie Waddle, here dashing goalwards, the Scots go all out to earn their passage. The man who cuts them short is goalie Bert Williams. And now England are on the attack. Bobby Langton, number 11, has the ball. A quick pass to Bentley, but the Chelsea man is off target. Schemer in chief behind the Scots attack is that dashing wing half Alex Forbes, number six. His amazing crossfield run puts Willie Waddle away again. It looks odds on a goal as Waddle's centre drops in the goal mouth. Williams is down, but little shot sails over. Scotland are away again. This time the threat comes from little Billy Steele. There's dynamite in his boot, and only Williams' cat-like agility saves his goal. Into the second half, and while Scotland are always there fighting, the ball never runs kindly for them. The tension is beginning to tell. There's so much at stake. Accentuating the strain is this England move. Wilt Mannion has the ball. A pass to Bentley, on to Mortensen, and into the net. But hold it. It's offside. From a little corner, Scotland again look like scorers, but bounding Bert Williams is there. Williams, the hero of England. And now England are away, led by Bobby Langton. Dashing up the wing, he squares the ball to Bentley. Roy races on and wham, it's in. <laughs> to England, the glamour of victory and with it the international championship. To Scotland, attacking to the last, the glory of going down fighting. Fighting hard enough to merit their accompanying England to Rio.